every 68 seconds, an American is sexually assaulted. In 2020, there were over 319,000 victims of rape and sexual assault in the U.S. For the victims who decide to take that step forward to file a report, evidence can be collected from their bodies and their clothing and submitted to a crime lab in the form of a sexual assault kit. But between that high occurrence of rape and sexual assault cases and the very limited resources available to publicly funded crime labs is a huge disconnect. And that disconnect has led to thousands of sexual assault kits sitting in the backlog where they're waiting for months to sometimes even years to be tested. My goal is to deliver a more effective tool for DNA analysts that can reduce both the time and the manpower necessary to test that sexual assault evidence. Now imagine you're the DNA analyst in a crime lab. You're examining your evidence looking for that crucial information, like cells left behind by an alleged perpetrator. But those few important cells that you're looking for are hugely overwhelmed by all the cells that belong to the victim. You might anticipate that because you know that this evidence was collected directly from the victim's body. Now, if you were to open up all the cells in your evidence, take out all of that DNA, sure, you would have a lot of DNA to work with, but looking at just the alleged perpetrator's DNA is like looking for a needle in a haystack. My solution is to avoid this altogether by separating out those cells before we open them up for their DNA inside. For my research, I've been developing a magnetic-based trap for sperm cells. To do this, I've constructed traps that only capture sperm cells, and I've attached them to a magnetic bead. So I can drop this bead into a sample that has different cells from different people and use a magnet to pull it out. And when I'm doing that, I'm also pulling out those sperm cells caught in those traps, and I'm leaving behind all those cells that are not relevant. We've seen great success so far, not only in being able to capture those sperm cells, but also using those cells to then generate a DNA profile. And this is key for crime labs in identifying persons of interest. This work has the potential to become a powerful tool for crime labs to solve more sexual assault cases more efficiently. And if we can reduce the turnaround time on sexual assault kit testing, we can provide closure to more victims end the sexual assault kit backlog and bring justice to our community. Thank you.